host of New Zealand's funniest TV show about spelling, it's Guy Montgomery! All right. Tough time for books. <laughs> you mean a, a bookstore? What do you reckon they sell? <laughs> books, yeah, you got it. Believe in yourself, man. <laughs> and they got them everywhere, you know? They're presenting them in all sorts of different ways. Some of the books they got, you know, facing out. Like, they didn't even tell these books that we don't judge them based on their covers. They're all, they're like this. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I prefer the more coy books. I like the books that go like this. <laughs> you want to read me, you're going to have to judge me based on my spine, you freak <laughs> bitch. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they don't say that. <laughs> but you can tell it's a tough time for books because the books aren't just selling themselves anymore. They've had some marketing meetings, a big book come up with an idea to put some stickers on the front of books. But some of these stickers, man, you know, like a lot of the stickers to encourage you to buy a book will say something along the lines of, now a major motion picture. <laughs> the single most counterintuitive marketing strategy <laughs> I've seen in my life. <laughs> Poor bastards. They're getting better. They started publishing some books. They've got images in them. Hmm? <laughs> They've even started publishing some books. When you open them all the way up, there's a picture pops right up out of the middle of the pages. And when I see that, I think, oh, <laughs> you are getting close. <laughs> you are getting so close. Keep going, you'll figure it out. <laughs> but I've not stopped reading entirely. You can't get away from reading altogether. I recently went out for breakfast because I like to pay $24 for an egg. <laughs> and uh, I was there and halfway through I had to go to the bathroom, sit down, do my business, then I get up and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm washing my hands and I look up and I read this sign in the bottom left-hand corner of the mirror. I wish I had not read it. It said, uh, please do not flush anything other than toilet paper. Thank you, management. So you can only imagine my total humiliation when I have to go and scoop up my own shit in my bare hands <laughs> you know, and traipse it through this restaurant to throw in a garbage bin on the street like an animal! <laughs> I'm Guy Montgomery, thank you.